Hello and welcome to another video. Um, in today's video, I will show you how to place market orders and limit orders on Bybit Futures. This is actually the exchange that I personally use a lot and I will walk you through it step by step through that process so that beginners can easily follow along. Um, you know, as always, if you are not even sure what market and limit orders are, then please make sure that you first of all understand everything in detail before you even trade. But again, this video might help you to understand what these order types are. Everybody needs to start somewhere. A lot of people confuse what a limit and the market order is. So please see it just as a tutorial how to place these and it might help you on your journey. Now, first of all, let's let's get started. I mean, I'm here on the, on the Bybit um, exchange. Uh, first of all, I am here on the futures dashboard, Bitcoin USDT, USDT Perpetual, um, and we select market first. I want to talk about that first. Now, what is a market order? Let's talk about that first. First of all, um, it's important to understand that a market order is the easiest or the, the simplest order type. When you place a market order, you are basically saying, I want to buy or sell right now at the best available price. And the advantage is that it is instant. So you're immediately in a position. You don't need to wait. It will be filled immediately. The disadvantage is that during high volatility, you might get a slightly worse price than expected because the system just matches you the current orders in the order book. I made a tutorial about the order book. Watch it. Um, it's also in the same playlist. And it explains you also, uh, you know, how these orders get filled. But basically, you buy immediately. Now, before we, I show you how to place it, what, what is actually a limit order? Now, a limit order gives you a little bit more control as a trader. Um, a limit order gives you, yeah, more control. You can set the exact price you want to enter or exit at. And you can do that here, whereas in a market order, you can't. It buys immediately, right? So here you can set the exact price you want to buy at. That's a very, very important distinction. So you have more control, right? So um, let's say, for example, if Bitcoin is trading at around 116,700, for example, but I want to buy it only if it drops to 115,000, I can place that limit order at that price. So it would then only buy it or yeah, place it in the order book at that level, at that value. Now that order will then sit and wait until the market reaches my price. The advantage is that you control your entry. Now the risk is here that if the market never comes down to that level, you'll never get filled. Yeah, Market order uh, would be filled, the limit order wouldn't be filled. But then again, that's not a problem. I mean, again, there's a reason why you set it lower because you didn't want to buy it higher, right? So if it never gets filled, you never had your setup. Yeah, it never it never followed your plan anyway. So you wouldn't you wouldn't want to get that position anyway for that higher price. Now, where to find it here on Bybit? Now, again, we're here on the dashboard, and uh, I already showed you on the right hand side. You see the order panel. You can switch between market and limit, and also conditional orders. Um, I think we talk about conditional orders maybe maybe in a different tutorial that's a bit special. Now, right below that, you can see everything here. You can see, for, I'm now on the on the market order side here. Uh, you can see the position size. So I can set, set that here. Yeah, that's the position size. You see it here, the value. Don't really have a lot on here on the exchange, but uh, yeah, you can just set the value. Basically, it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, you can select that. And then, um, yeah, you choose, you, you could also um, choose your leverage. You can do that up here, well, leverage. I have it without leverage right now, just to show you how it works actually. Um, and so that's basically all there is. You can then set a to uh, take profit and stop loss. So let's say market order by now, right? I don't need to enter a price, but I have to enter a price for take profit. So if I open a long trade, then obviously I'm trading to the upside. So if I want to take profit, I type that here where I want to take profit and the stop loss needs to sit somewhere, maybe below that low. Now again, I'm just placing it somewhere to show you. Obviously you would have to have a plan. You need to know what level really matters 
either based on analysis or based on your own trading plan, your own analysis, right? And then basically all there is is um, all there is to do is to open that trade. So you can open a long trade here. Um, and then you see everything, you can double check everything and, and you just click confirm. And I'm not going to do that now, don't need to open it right now, but uh, basically that is really all there is about setting a market order. Now, the limit order um, is a little different, yeah? So here you select limit up there. Uh, you can also select the leverage, of course. And in the price field now, I type the level where I really want to enter. So I already highlighted it might be 115K, right? Again, just made up now. Uh, it's not really wh where I want to buy. Um, but let's assume I have a trading plan I want to buy. I would do it here at 115K. So that's the, order, the, the price I want to get that order filled at. And um, obviously I have to select the quantity. I have to select that based on you know my position size and everything and my risk tolerance and everything. And uh, yeah, all really there is now is to add a stop loss and take profit here. So you can do that as well, similar ways, 120K. And the stop loss would obviously have to sit somewhere below the 115K level. So it's just 114K maybe, right? Or 113K. Needs to make sense, obviously, from a technical point of view. And um, then you obviously have to decide, you know, I, before that, obviously, do you open a long or a short? You can do any of these. Um, if you open a long, you'll trade, obviously, to the upside. So this makes sense here. Take profit is higher and stop loss is lower. And short is the other way around. Right, it's the same thing. Um, here I can actually confirm it because it will now be in open orders, right? It's not triggered yet, but you can actually see it. Um, you see it. I can actually change things here. I can move things around on Bybit on the on the dashboard. Yeah, so I've just changed it, right? Um, now I will cancel it now because that's not actually an order I want to have triggered. But this is now sitting in the order book. It would sit in the order book. Um, so yeah, we'll cancel it right now. It never got triggered, but that is basically how you set a limit and a market order and also to explain the difference. So to, to summarize, a market order is fast and instant. A limit order gives you more control over your entry and exit. And with both, you can add stop loss and take profit to manage your risk. And that's just everything there is. Just want to give you a quick tutorial, especially for those who are now coming into the space who might have never used a crypto exchange. Now, before you use leverage or anything, make, make sure you have a plan. Um, but again, you can also trade, trade demo and everything, but everybody needs to start somewhere. Now, when you start, it can really make sense to, to start with spot, but it doesn't really matter so much if you start with futures or spot. What really matters is that you understand your risk and that you have a stop loss because without a stop loss, um, yeah, you, you are at risk of getting getting liquidated. Well, not you, but your portfolio, basically. So make sure that you understand that uh, risk management first. That's very, very important. Um, and yeah, I hope this was helpful. And if you are new to futures trading and um, yeah, generally trading this hopefully was helpful. Now, as you know, MCO is an analysis platform and we're cooperating with Bybit to bring you this kind of educational content. If you'd like to sign up and try it out, you can use the link in the description. With that link, you'll also get a 10% discount on trading fees for the first 30 days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.